In this video, I'm going to give you an update on the Elmont real estate market for April 2022. So if you'd like to learn more, stay tuned. The very first metric we're going to discuss is the number of active listings. So last year in the month of April, we saw that there were 150 homeowners who were interested in selling their home. This year, we've seen a decline of 56% and there were only 62 homeowners who were interested in selling their home in the month of April in Elmont. Now, another interesting thing about the month of April is that if we compare April to January, we're seeing fewer and fewer homeowners putting their properties on the market. Number of active listings was around 100 in the month of January, and that's now down about 37% into the month of April. Hopefully this is something that we see turn around as we're headed into the spring. Next metric that we're gonna be discussing is the close price to list price ratio. Now what this ratio tells us is how much value a homeowner is able to command out of the list price that they place their property on the market for. So if you're a homeowner and you place your property on the market for $600,000 and you actually sell it for $600,000, then your close price to list price ratio is 100%. Now we have seen a consistent pattern with respect to Elmont's close price to list price ratio where it's either 99% or 100%. So homeowners in Elmont have no problem commanding as much value as they can out of the list price that they set for their home. So last year in Elmont, we saw that the close price to list price ratio was actually 100%. This year, we see that that number stays static at around 100%, even going slightly above 100% to 100.2%. And that tells us that sellers are able to sell their homes for slightly more than the price that they listed for on the market. The next metric we'll be talking about is the median sales price of a single family home in Elmont. So last year, we saw that the median sales price was $565,000. This year, we've seen an increase of 15%, where the median sales price is now $650,000. That translates to a year-over-year -year increase of up to $85,000 and a same-year increase of up to $30,000. So just by comparing sales in January to sales in April, homeowners are able to accumulate an additional $30,000 in equity just by owning a home in Elmont. The next metric we'll be discussing is the number of single family homes that sold in Elmont. So last year with 150 listings, with 150 homes on the market, only 19 homes sold in the month of April. This year with 62 homes on the market, 10 homes sold in the month of April. So though we saw a decline from 19 to 10, we have to think about that in the backdrop of there being fewer properties on the market for sale. And the final metric we'll be discussing is the median number of days that the property is on the market. So last year in the month of April, the median number of days a property was on the market was about 45 days, so just over one month. This year in the month of April, we see that the median number of days declined to 29 days, so now under a month. So overall, we're seeing there are fewer properties on the market, they're selling for much higher prices, and they're taking less time to sell. So if you are a homeowner in Elmont and you're thinking about selling, now is definitely a great time for you to put your property on the market. Now we talked about the median sales price of a single family home in Elmont being around $650,000. So now what I'd like to do is give you an example of a home that sold in the month of April of this year for the median sales price or around there to give you a sense of exactly what you can buy and what your money can get for $650,000 in Elmont. So here we have a four bedroom, three bath ranch style home. It's single level and it sits on just over one tenth of an acre lot. And it comes with an Eden kitchen, newly updated with stainless steel appliances as well as a finished basement. So if you're in the market to purchase a home, this is what $660,000 will get you in the town of Elmont. All right, that's it for this market update video. If you enjoyed the video and you learned something new, consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.